your routines, your routines. What are your routines? Some people go, I don't really have any. Oh, yes, you do. We all do. It's the way our brains are designed. That we get into patterns. That's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all. We're wired that way. And your, your prefrontal cortex, when it learns something new, it is on a mission to be able to get that out of consciousness and delegate it down to the lower regions of the brain where you don't have to think about that anymore. You just automatically do it. Now, here's the thing about our routines. Our routines are building something. Our routines, call them habits, whatever. I like to get away from the word habit because it's a little more complicated than a routine in some ways. But what I'm talking about is anything that you do systematically over and over and over again, and you do. I have a morning routine. Okay. Pretty much looks the same. We have a nighttime routine. Pretty much looks the same. I mean, there's those nights, right, where we have an event or go out or something. Some people go to work, you have a lunch routine. There's all sorts of, you have a routine about how you brush your teeth. Now, here's the thing. Let's just establish that we are routinists, right? We do things according to patterns. Here's the question. You have routines. Are your routines building what you want to build in your life? Because that's how everything is built. It's built on a routine. If you want to build about an extra 10 to 15 pounds a year over time with compounding interest, then just establish a routine. After dinner, I'm making one up, go sit in front of the TV and 30 minutes later, go up and scrounge in the cupboard and find the chips or the cookies or the ice cream and then go sit down and enjoy a great movie. That's a routine if it happens more than once or twice, okay? There's lots of routines. What are we trying to build? Well, if you're trying to build health, for example, you know, my wife has a routine and it is like clockwork. She and two of her closest girlfriends, eight o'clock, I hear them drive up. I hear the dog getting, you know, <laughs> her leash hooked up. They're going on their walk every day, pretty much. Actually, they do it every many times a week, and she does it on her own. Now. But the point is, that's a routine. It never varies, really, unless we're traveling or something. And that's the time that worked out for all of them with their work and different stuff they have to do. Other people do it at 6 o'clock. Other people do it in the evening, whatever. doesn't matter. But it's anything that you repeat over and over. Now, here's the thing. When you repeat something, it is building something. So what are you trying to build? If you are looking at, for example, getting out of debt, what are your routines, as Dave Ramsey would ask? What is the routine that you've set that's going to take a certain percentage of whatever and a routine of each paycheck? You put that in the paying down debt thing, okay? When I was growing up as a competitive golfer, okay, I had a routine. Up at six, go to the range, work through certain drills over and over and over. One of them, for example, I would hit 100 balls a day with just my left arm, building that move with that left arm every day. I would go to the chipping green, and I would dump my shag back out and I had a routine and I had to sit there and chip across the green until 30 minutes was up, no. An hour was up, no. 
until I made three of them. Now, any of you golfers, you know, to chip in every now and then you make one. Well, as Gary Player once said, after he held it out of a sand trap, here's a routine for you. He was one of the greatest sand players ever. He was in a tournament, he made it out of a sand trap, and the lady in the gallery goes, wow, that was a lucky shot. And he said, yes, ma'am, it was. But you know what I find is the more I practice, the luckier I get. So what are your routine? What are your routines? What are you trying to build every day? What are the routines in a marriage? For example, um, one of the things that the marriage researchers tell us is that successful marriages have rituals. Usually they have bedtime rituals or they have a morning ritual. There's something this couple, they get up every morning, they have coffee together. Doesn't have to be that. It could be a thousand other things. Or they have a bedtime ritual. They go to bed together at the same time instead of, oh, see you later. It's my veggies in front of the TV for two hours by themselves and they never talk. Not that, that you can't do that as well if you have other routines, but successful marriages have routines. So I want you to think about this because you are doing things over and over and over. The question is, if you're trying to build something, what is it you're doing over and over and over? And that's got to become a routine. And when it becomes a routine, it will become automatic. Okay. I'll give you two of mine that I've found very, very helpful. One of them is my daily uh, scripture reading and prayer routine. Now, some days with work or whatever, if I'm, you know, if I do all the offsites in the meeting, I, you know, every now and then, I don't, not, let's say a different way. It won't happen 365 days out of the year, okay? But it is a routine that's gonna happen routinely as much as I can. So what I do in my routine, and this is, it never changes. I read a chapter out of the Old Testament chronologically. I read a Psalm chronologically. I read the chapter of the book of Proverbs that corresponds with that day on the calendar. So today I would read chapter, what's coming up here? What is today? Uh, I'd read chapter 11 out of Proverbs. And then I will read a chapter in the New Testament. Now, those are my routines. I do other Bible reading just out of, for a lot of reasons, here and there during the day or whenever. But that's something that's going to happen every day as much as I can. Okay. And then I have a prayer journal, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And each day has a list of different parts of life and different things that I pray for on that day. That's a routine. Okay. That really helps me doesn't make me a good faith person or a bad faith person. Routines build something. And what I find is that routine builds a lot of things in my life. And it really, really helps. Give me one more routine is I'm always reading three to four books every week. And in three or four different categories, I always have one going that is very technical and I'm reading science and research and, and the psychological and neurological stuff that I talked to you about. I'm usually reading something in the business performance arena, okay? And I'm usually reading something at the same time that is a spiritual memoir or a biography or tales of a missionary. You know, I love to, I, it's so interesting when people say, well, all the miracle stuff in the Bible, you don't, you don't see that. Of course you do. You know, read what happens in the mission field. People get raised from the dead in the name of Jesus. Yes, this happens. People get creative miracles. People get healed. People get this. <laughs> they're out there. I'm always reading, reading those by, you know, missionaries, journeys and biographies and all of that. That's faith building for me. And I really enjoy it. And then I always have some cheesy novel. Okay, so that's a routine. I find that diet very helpful to me. Okay, so and then you have routines with your kids or with your friends or whatever it is. This isn't about the content of what you do. It is about you are building things every day. Are you building the things that you want to be building in the routines that you have? And if your routines are not what you have, 
if they're not building the things that you want in your marriage, in your family, in your dating life, in your health life and all of that, then establish new routines because routines build things. That's the point. That's the point. Routines build things where we don't really, you know, in large part, I know this oversimplification because bad things happen to people and all that, but in large part, in large part, if you want to be successful, watch what successful people do in that area and then do what they do. Generally, they're not reinventing the universe and how it works. They're just getting in line with it. And there's a whole field of performance science that has to do with looking at what successful people do, deconstructing what they do backwards, reverse engineering it backwards, deconstructing it into the components, and then teaching people to do those components and guess what that equals? It equals similar to success, success to the people that are doing it, okay? So it's an old saying, if you want something you don't have, you're gonna have to do some things you're not doing. New routines. Okay, think about that in your marriage, in your life, all the different areas. Routines, build things.